so now let's do hands on on creation of a private link endpoint and test that to communicate in between a virtual machine and a storage account in the storage account i'll be creating a file share and that file share i'll be attaching it uh, to the windows virtual machine as a drive so for that we first need require a virtual network we quickly see if we have already a virtual network i see i have one and uh, two subnets here and my address space is 192.168.0.0 and i've created two subnets which are for slash 17 so this vnet is already created now let's go and create a virtual machine so if i go to the home and i create a vm that is virtual machine and i create a azure virtual machine here i need to quickly select a particular resource group if not then i can create one test 3 rg that is resource group virtual machine that is vm1 test 3 okay it is in east us availability is zone in zone 1 that's okay what I want is virtual machine data center 2016 that is this one I'm okay with the size for now username I'm giving and my password I'm providing here okay now I need the RDP port which is 3389 that's a good next is the disk I'm okay with the basic OS disk which is coming with this virtual network i already have a virtual network that is test 2 in it and i would like to select the subnet 2 here and that will i need a private ip as well or a public ip here which is good next management i don't want to do anything much here not in monitoring not in advance review and create creating the vm now it will take a while let me fast forward for this okay my vm is created now if i go to my vm okay now it's good my vm is created let me try to connect it i can download a rdp file i'll download it in my downloads folder that is test3vm1.rdp if i click on this i have microsoft remote desktop application through which the rtp file opens and we can log into the vm we have just created add your password that you have given while you were creating the vm continue it will ask to verify the certificate that's okay now you see i'm logged in let's give some seconds for this vm to boot up nicely i'll pause and resume okay i see now the vm is up now but if i go to the finder and if i want to see any of the storage account here i do not have any storage account other than the default and the temporary disk that we have let's create now the storage account from the azure portal here we are let's go to storage account let's create a storage account let's keep it in the same resource group test 3 ac that's okay performance standard geo redundant local redundant for now rest most of it I'll, I'll keep it as it is in the advance i have nothing much to show here in the networking section we wish to disable all the public accesses and use the private access and this private access is nothing but the private link or the private endpoint here itself it is asking us to add a private endpoint but we will not do it from here for now we will just say that we don't want a public access we will go privately but we will individually create the private endpoint after creation of this storage account let's go to next next tags review create ok and just create the storage account let's give it couple of seconds ok my deployment is in progress I'll pause and resume once it's done. Okay, now I see my deployment is completed. 
let me go to the resource resource is nothing but the storage account we just created and let's try to create a file shared a file share is something that can be connected to a vm give it a name test three file share one transaction optimized that's okay create and review create then once this is completed we'll move to add this file share to our vm as a smb prop let me resume once this is completed while the backup service is getting deployed our storage file share is created already let's try to connect this so i can select uh, first i need to select to which operating system i need to attach this it's windows that is the vm that we have created we can provide a drive later to it i can give any other drive letter then set i'll keep it as it is and uh, then i'll ask him to show the script and this script i i'll just copy it from here and we'll go to the vm that we had which is this one and uh, here we connect this storage account let's go to notepad i'll just paste it here for your reference and for understanding what we are doing here this particular url that is test tree storage ac which is the name of the storage account dot file type dot core dot windows dot net which is which is the dns okay so this entire dns we are trying to connect and so if i go to the powershell and paste the script here and press enter it says access is denied why the access is denied because there is no network that can reach we do not have a public internet access to this storage account so in this case what we can do now is let's go to azure and uh, here let's create a private link let's go to private link in private link you will see private endpoint here you need to create a private endpoint let's go and create this thing let's keep the same resource group this is my test free private endpoint one okay next i need to provide the resource type what is it which SaaS service are we trying to connect for us it is a storage account okay so i'll select microsoft storage by default it should give my storage account here if it is not listed here then something is wrong while you are selecting the basic type so make sure you select the right one that you want the private endpoint for and select the storage the subtype here for the storage account there can be multiple subtype we are currently interested in the file type hence we are having the file type as the targeted sub resource next go to the virtual network it is very much important that we provide the same subnet that we have given to the vm if we don't remember let's duplicate this page and if we go to the existing vm that we have in test 3 rg we have test 3 vm1 which is connected to subnet 2 so we have to use subnet 2 to make sure that the private link works so in this vm virtual network in the subnet 2 we need to select it and then next provide a dns so what it will do it will create a private dns zone through which we'll get a private dns create tags let's create it let's give it a couple of seconds to create this resource we'll resume back once it's done okay so now the deployment is created my private link is created private endpoint is created private dns zone is created let's see how it looks okay this is my private endpoint if i go to the dns configurations here i should see a uh, fqtn which is part of my private dns zone private link file core windows so if i just copy this fqtn this is the one that is given to us which our vm can connect privately without the public access 
how would we test it we go back to our window we had this script already we'll just replace the existing dns that we had with the private dns and now let's try to communicate and add this file storage to our windows using the private endpoint go to powershell and paste let me copy this and paste it here this time we have test tree storage account dot private link okay press enter and you see this time the storage account is added and there is no problem here we can validate this by going to our file browser and here you see in the network storage i have a test 3 file share here let's suppose i create a new text file this is alloc text one dot doc and in this i do test from inside vm and i save this thing file save and close and this concludes that the private endpoint or private link works and this is on the private network that the vm and the storage account is getting connected instead of the public dns or public ip thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified for the upcoming video thank you